Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial with Unreal Engine for you. Uh, this tutorial is actually about uh, the animation system, or it's about a trick within the animation system. Usually, people when they want to fire uh, a function or a method or spawn particles or do a sound at specific moment during an animation, they usually use uh, animation not twice. But sometimes it's not the case to use animation not twice for this. So, for example, if we have here, this is uh, the, the third person uh, example. And we have here at uh, the mannequin, we have the animation blueprint for this character. So if you open this animation blueprint, it basically contain all the animation and state machines. So if you come here, this is the state machines for the animations. So in case we want to display an animation while running, for example, so we come here to the animation. Oh, sorry, if we want to, to do a function while running, so we come here to the running and <clears throat> let's just pause and let's say whenever the feet touch the ground, we want to spawn some particles. So we come here and add a not notify and let's say play particle or new notify to call a specific method. So we can here set play particle and we can select. A particle, but I don't have. Let's create just a quick one here, and that's enough. So, yeah, let's select this particle system and let's select this spoon which for right. Come here and let's foot right. And let's do the same thing here when the other foot touches the ground here. And let's say another particle effect, same particle effect, and foot left. So if I run and start playing here, I'll see. Oh, okay, the particle system is empty. Okay, let's come here. Oh, well, it shouldn't be empty. There is particles. So, what's the problem? Yeah, here, as you can see, we keep playing particles whenever the feet touch the ground. So, if I hit play again, yeah, you can see it here. I just forgot to save. So, left leg and right leg keep doing the same thing. And yeah, sparkle will not disappear. Mm -hmm. But it's not our problem now. So that's what you can do with animation notifies. But sometimes the animation have no end, or it's a loop animation. And when the animation ends, it depends on the environment. It depends on the gameplay. It depends on the player himself. For example, if I am jumping, so the jump here takes a specific time. But if I'm jumping from here, the jump takes more time. So when the jump ends, it depends on the game itself. It, it, it's, some, it's something I cannot plan beforehand. So jump here takes different time. So mm -hmm. the point, what if I want to display or what if I want to spawn some particles when the player hits the ground again after jumping? So if I came here following the same thing and I came to the jump loop, I can actually add it to the jump in, but consider what if you don't have a jump in? You have only a jump loop here. So we cannot add by the end of the animation a particle spawn. But here we have another thing we can use. We have what is called state machines events. So this is a jump loop, which actually the player keep floating in air. So I have here three events. Enter the state, which means once this arrow reach here, and left state which means once this arrow started and fully blended state which means once the state independently running it's not anymore blended between this or something or it's not it just started to blend with this which means the in between the middle so i need to play this either when this one started or or when this one ended so i come here and i just pick a name and put it here at the left state so i can just add a name, let's call it uh, 
open touch ground for example and make sure I save because I, if I did not save now and I go back to the graph here and say on touch the ground it has nothing but if I saved this one would be saved so here again if I wrote on touch the ground I find it here as animation which file called on touch the ground and then I can just uh, spawn emitter at location and choose this emitter and yeah let's get the player try get one owner and get actor location so now if I jump once I finished here but yeah it spawned in the middle because yeah we get the, the actor location himself but yeah let's jump here again so once I touch the ground it started to spawn the particles again so this is basically how you can use the animation which files but not not the animation which files but what is called the state machine events and yes yeah, it makes sense because this is a state machine and this is events related to state machine so you can have huge amount of those and it's really perfect to use it makes your game have a perfect timing for actions perfect timing score methods because sometimes using animation files within animation is not the case it's not what could help you yeah hope it helps thank you bye